Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to take control of patch management across both Linux and Windows with Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. Most organizations run a mix of operating systems and tool sets. Manual patching steals nights and weekends, introduces human error, and delays critical security fixes. Ansible replaces that chaos with a single repeatable workflow. Here's a high-level approach we'll automate. We'll collect an authoritative inventory of every managed server. We'll classify hosts by OS environment and maintenance window. We'll apply the right patches in the right order with built-in safety checks. And we'll validate success, roll back on failure, and generate a compliance report. Step one, inventory. Dynamic inventory plugins pull live host data from VMware, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, or any CMDB of your choice. When we import hosts, we can use tags to separate servers by their operating system and label Windows servers, RHEL, anything else by using the keyed group directive. This allows us to run Ansible playbooks for specific operating systems. Step two, schedule. Inside Ansible Automation Platform, we can create a job template that runs during an approved window. You can even require a ServiceNow ticket before execution. Step three, patch. With Linux, we can use the DNF or apt module, depending on the operating system, and we can wrap that in a role that snapshots LVM volumes or pauses critical services. For RHEL, we can even take advantage of image mode if it's available. With Windows, we can do things like use the Win Updates module, which allows us to easily limit updates to just security and reboot only when required. We can also, in either operating system case, employ block rescue logic. If a package install fails, we can roll back that snapshot or use dissum on Windows. Then we can flag the host for investigation so there's no more 3 a.m. triage. We can also use automation to wait for hosts to return from reboots and confirm IIS or SQL services are running. Step four, report. Automation dashboard aggregates results of our automation so auditors can see which jobs executed and easily export to a PDF to allow your manager to follow along. We can also create dynamic documentation to see specifically what CVEs were remediated and what applications were updated. So why Ansible? While well, Ansible is agentless, there's no extra software on those remote nodes, no version drift, and we're using the same code for dev, test, and prod. Ansible is also extensible. You can easily add additional robustness like disk space pre-checks and rollbacks. Ansible is very easy to make things visible so anyone can understand what's going on. Dashboards provide compliance and keep security teams happy. Three big takeaways for this video. We can centralize. There's one pipeline for heterogeneous fleets. We can standardize, treat patches as code, every run is predictable, and we can visualize. Dashboards turn raw data into actionable compliance insights. With Ansible Automation Platform, Patch Tuesday or any day becomes just another scheduled job. Your servers stay secure, your auditors stay happy, and your evenings stay yours. Thanks for listening and happy automating.